I think this is a very important time because um, the whole world trade system is under a bit of uh, a shock, uh, both from uh, the actions of the United States that we've seen in the last couple of days, uh, but also from the need to take into account a really big and important new actor, and that is China. And the EU needs to find a way to uh, manage uh, its new relationship with China, uh, and that needs to be a more strategic and innovative way of dealing with China than has been done hitherto, I think. China has sort of leapt into the gap uh, left by the United States to portray itself as a champion of globalization. And indeed, China has uh, benefited hugely from uh, the global trade regime uh, as, it, uh, sought, as it sought successfully to develop its economy. Uh, the thing is now that China wants to um, have more of a say in the, in the way that the uh, world order uh, is structured in the future. Uh, and that will be coming from a very uh, China-centric perspective perspective and I think that will have huge implications uh, for both the world regime and for China's trading and investment partners.